New tonight, a trial for a new vaccine is underway at the Miriam Hospital in Providence, but this time it's not for COVID, it's for Lyme disease. 12 News reporter Kim Kalunian joins us now with more on the study and who researchers are hoping will volunteer to get the shot. Kim. Well, this particular vaccine is being developed by a company called Valneva, and the Miriam is conducting one of its phase two clinical trials for kids ages five to 17. If a Lyme disease vaccine sounds familiar, you're probably remembering the one released in 1998. You would um, take the vaccine over a period of uh, one year. But that vaccine was pulled from circulation in the ensuing years due to side effects. This is a more uh, refined, um, more targeted protein in the outer surface protein. So the hope is that this will be both equally protective without any side effects. Dr. Timothy Flanagan is the co-director of the Lyme Disease Center at the Miriam Hospital, where he's overseeing a phase two clinical trial of a new Lyme disease vaccine. The burden of Lyme and other tick-borne diseases in Rhode Island is very substantial. The trial is currently looking for kids ages 5 to 17. Only two-thirds of them will get the actual vaccine. The others will get a placebo. And they've already enrolled the adults and they've shown that it's been well tolerated. And now they're enrolling teenagers and kids over the age of five. That's, I think, very exciting because Lyme really affects kids. And yet so often the research in children is left far behind. According to the CDC, Rhode Island reported upwards of 500 confirmed cases of Lyme in 2019. The disease is transmitted through infected black-legged ticks and can result in fever, headaches, and that characteristic rash. But long-term, the disease can have impacts on the joints, the heart, and the nervous system. It's very similar to long COVID. You know, we know that our patients that have recovered from COVID, so they, their PCR is negative, they still have terrible fatigue, and we think it's due to inflammation. So I think there, there could well be a common mechanism. And if you're interested in enrolling your child in this study, you can head to our website, WPRI.com, for more information. I'm Kim Kalunian, 12 News.